watch and pray, part one, and then we're going to pray. Amen? Pray the Lord. What are the topic again? Watch our word and pray. In Matthew chapter 26, as Christ was praying in the garden, he told the disciples to just hang around and, and keep a watch on him and, and pray with him and all of that. By the time he came back, what did he meet? He met them what? Sleeping and it was repeated. Uh, when naturally those guys were tired, amen? <laughs> Praise the Lord. If not confused, how can somebody, how can Jesus die? Amen? How, who can kill him? This mother walked on water and all that. So that shock, that labor, that uh, all those questioning in Jerusalem and going from one place to the other, they, they, they were confused and tired and all that. But then, even in our tiredness, we can be strong, amen? But we say, let the weak say what? Tell yourself, I am strong. I don't know what you came with, but you are strong. Amen. You see, your forehead eh, is stronger than that of the devil. Because he that is in you is greater. That is what I mean. At this age, we cannot be, we cannot be joking with words. It's all we have tasted. Amen. But we say, taste. You will know that God is uh, what? It's good, it's sweet. So something we have tasted. And I pray that the power that walked in the old will be working for us. When nobody's there to help, amen? The power that part the Red Sea will work for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The power that brought, supernaturally brought food from the sky will work for us. In the name of Jesus. When in, you are in Christ, when message I say what? There is a casting down. You shall say, there's a lifting up. Those are the benefits of a believer. We must not limit ourselves with the economy. Oh, this and that. Uh, um. No, 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 no. I keep telling us, if we don't have asset, we have what? Uh, access. Amen? Amen? And in that light, we'll just discuss briefly and uh, we will pray. Amen? Like I said, they were weak, tired, confused. How can this holy man die? Who can kill him? Son of God, so powerful and um, all of that. But, but they never understood the plan of salvation. It's a mystery. That's what Paul said. Indeed, it's a mystery, and it's only um, when we get to heaven we understand uh, the details of God's dealing with mankind from one epoch, from one Old Testament, and, and all of that. It's when we get to heaven we understand all those uh, details. Why, does, why do some things happen? Amen. <laughs> Pray the Lord. We can't fully understand those things, but the hope is that we, we will just obey the scriptures. We believe God and we trust him. And we, he will keep us from the time of, uh, we keep us in the time of trials and the time of tribulation in the mighty name of Jesus. I said God will keep us in the time of trials, time of tribulation, even time of sorrow in the name of Jesus. We all pass through wilderness. Jesus had to pass through it to deliver us. Amen? Amen. Disciples had to pass through it. It's like that. But what Jesus Christ said in um, Matthew chapter 26, verse 41, said, Watch and what? And pray. Lest you enter into what? Into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is what? Is willing. I will just read the passage. Then the, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And said to Peter, What could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, 
but the flesh is weak. Amen. Hallelujah. Like we said, did Christ had to leave the disciples. Um, I hope you have my notes there. Okay. They had to leave what? The disciples, and he used the moment for teaching them, the moment to instruct them, because they know they also have the shock of his, he leaving them, and they're going to be facing oppositions, they're going to be facing some ridiculous things and embarrassment and all of that, and there's a tendency for them to be discouraged. They're going to be facing temptation, of course, you know how Peter denied Jesus Christ, how many times? Three times, so. So it was just forewarning them. Oh, this, they're going to face these things. Uh, so we better learn how to pray now. Amen? They say pray so that you may not become what? A pray. Pray now. And for all of us, this is the time to pray. Amen? The other day we were asking, can we use Sunday evening to pray? Nobody was answering me. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, can we I'll allow you to preach for that 15 minutes every Sunday? Nobody was responding. Amen. But we prayed last Sunday for one hour and enjoyed it. How many of us were online? Online. Yeah, it was. Amen. You know, as a church, we don't come for prayer meetings. We don't have prayer meetings during the week. We don't have vigils anymore. And all of those things because they have been transferred somewhere. Why can't we pray for one hour on a Sunday? All of us we join to pray. Look at the election is coming. Look at things happening in Africa and all of those things. Why can't we gather and pray? Let us pray now so that we will not become victims. And God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Christ was for one of them, what they will face. And encourage them, advise them, or instruct them to do what? To watch and pray. And for all of us. You will say, what is good? Need prayer. I mean, what is bad? It's prayer. What is good also? What? It's prayer. So, like that. Now, what is the meaning of watch and pray? This is not my... I, this is a um, quote. It's not my language. Amen. Quote. To, to watch means to be spiritually awake. Oh, you have it there? Okay, let's go. Amen. Amen. I want to go it's like keeping our eyes wide open, not just physically, but also in our hearts and minds. It's about vigilance, especially during moments of crisis or vulnerability. with him, seek his guidance, draw strength from his presence. Go ahead. It's not just about saying words. It's about maintaining a constant connection with our creator through prayer. We receive the power to overcome sin and life's challenges. Amen? That is what the power of prayer is. Amen? You remain connected with what? With God. And once you're connected with God, he foresees what is ahead, amen? And he goes ahead of us to take care of troubles, to take care of evil. And he positions people to help us, amen? That's what pray, power of prayer. He's telling God, I, I don't know how to do it. I'm helpless. I can't, I'm not depending on myself, but I'm depending on you. And it's applicable to all of us, young or old. When you commit your ways into God's hand, Constantly, every day, he will take care of the day. Amen? We have to watch our uh, attentive. Mm, we have to be alert, like a soldier man, a watchman. We have to be alert. We have to be attentive against all kind of things that are happening concerning ourselves and our children. We have to be what? To be Alert. If you're a leader, you have to be prayerful. You have to be alert. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you are a watchman. Uh, you're not just there with, uh, they call you a leader. No, you are a leader to watch over the flock. Hallelujah. 
You have to deny yourself. Uh, you have to be circumspect. You have to be watchful. And I pray God help us to watch. Men, you have to be watchful over the family. God help us to be watchful in Jesus' name as men. So that we stand in the gap and say, Satan, thus far you can go or nip something on the board. Just cut it off when you want to spring out. Or we have to speak a word. If you don't know what is happening, how can you speak a word? That's why we need the scriptures to inform our minds on the dealings, how to deal with God and how to deal with issues. The Bible tells us that the devil, yeah, as a roaring lion, what does he do? He goes around prowling, seeking for those who devour. And you have to understand that. And I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. When we pray, we don't know how it happens, but things happen. Amen? Just like you give your offering and tithes, you, you just, see, just find that you have to give. Amen? This is our spiritual. And it made simple in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 tells us, oh, this is how to pray. Our Father who, which, hallow be the name. The next is what? Thy kingdom come. Very simple. Thy will be done where? On earth. And give us this, this our daily prayer. Hallelujah. Lead us what? It's against evil. Prayer is made simple and all of us. Young men, young women, you have to be prayerful. Amen. You have to beautify your future. Hallelujah. You have to send messages to your future by faith. You have to overcome temptations by faith. Hallelujah. You pray ahead of your business, your marriage. Begin to pray now. If it's just five minutes regularly, ten minutes regularly, set time to pray. Read your Bible and pray. And God help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're talking about watch and what? Pray. <laughs> pray. He said, we open our physical eyes, but he said also the eyes of us, our minds have to be opened to be alert. And may God help us. What should we watch against or pray against? See, we must watch against Satan and his cohorts. Amen? Yes. Satan blows hot and cold. Satan is aggressive but also deceptive. The, de the devil is both violent and subtle, um, our violent and subtle enemy. When uh, he sugarcoats stuff, people dress very well, come to the television and all of that. And you think it's just packaging, amen? It's what? It's packaging. So you don't follow anybody that is sinful but is looking decent. It's just packaging. So they should not deceive, deceive us. Uh, he, the devil covers venom with, with honey. It's just like a bait. He throws bait at us. He pretends to, he appears to us in somebody. He may come to you in a dream, but with somebody's face. But if, it's, uh, if you want to destroy your marriage, he comes with your ill have you, seen, have you had a dream like that before? Well, yeah. Amen. <laughs> uh, now, if he had come to, um, to Adam and Eve correctly and tell them, well, I want to destroy your life, would they have eaten the forbidden fruit? No. So, it's both violent and deceptive. And Paul said we should watch. We must not be deceived by what? By the deception of the devil. That's why we have to pray and read our Bibles. Amen? So when he's coming, you say, ah, he's coming again. He's coming again. We have bad dreams, so he's coming again. Oh, deceiving you through the, your dream life. Just tell yourself, he's coming again. You know who to pray against. The Bible says we're not fighting at what? Against flesh, and blood, but against what? Principalities and power. If it's, if it's if we use the human being against us, we go behind that human being and detach the fellow from the power that is propelling the fellow to do evil against us. Amen? We yank that power away. We have, the, we have the authority in our mouth. Christ has given us the authority. 
And I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Satan and what? And his cohort. Tell yourself, I will not be afraid of, 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 of witches. Of wizards. No, as a believer, we're not supposed to be afraid of them. Satan and his cohorts. If he suggests death to you, tell him, I shall not what? <laughs> but leave. He said, Oh, your husband will die. He said, No, not my husband. He will not die. Your child, oh, if you go to school, not come back. Say, No way. My children will come back. Amen. Praise the Lord. And be, be watchful. Amen. We should watch against getting entangled with the affairs of this world. That would say a military man must be what? Be at attention. Must not be entangled with business of a, a soldier man. We are going to buy this and that. We are selling cars. We are Selling this, we are selling. Not be, soldiers are supposed to be soldiers. Praise the Lord. Once they're in the barracks, they are where? They are where? In the barracks. There is training every time. So if you want to do business, uh -huh, you leave the army. Praise the Lord. The same thing with a Christian. You are a, you are a Christian, born again Christian. You are a soldier for Christ. Tell yourself, I'm a soldier for Jesus. I will not be entangled by the things of this world. Yeah. Affairs of this world. Mm. This world is not our home. And materialism cripples a believer. Um, materialism, the Bible says, it takes away the word of God from uh, the business. It does not allow a man to pray, a woman to pray, to read the Bible as you are going from one job to another job. And the funny thing is that as you are doing those things, Satan is waiting to take the money. Because the place of God will be replaced by something else. You just be earning money, you don't know how you are spending it. That will not be a portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are not created to be materialistic. We are soul, spirit, and what? And but if you emphasize only the physical, then there will be deficiency in the soul aspect of it. And scripture says, I wish above all things that what? Thou may prosper and what? And be in health or good health, even as what? Your soul prospers. Materialism. The Bible says, them has loved the world. What, what happened to him? He departed from, uh, from the man of God. From Paul. Money, dollars, we are going to leave them in this world. And may God help us to be careful in Jesus' name. The grip we believe are, you can't pray. So temptation comes, one just fall into it like that. The affairs of this world. Some people are, when in Oklahoma, they are also looking for one who one bed to attend around the guy. Anyway, amen. In Chicago, where did they go? Houston, um, Atlanta. <laughs> Mama, I hope you don't go to prison. <laughs> amen. Atlanta. But come for prayer meeting is a problem. Come for Bible study is a problem. May God help us in Jesus' name. Uh, this world is what? Come and what? And go. It's what we invest in heaven that matters. The money here should be to, should serve us to glorify God, to be a blessing, and to invest where? In heaven. I've said that repeatedly. I may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bible said, do not love the world. Or what? The things of the world. You cannot love money and God. It's not possible. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father, what? It's not in him. There's no doubt about that. He 
must make a choice. For all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world is passing away, and the loss of it, take note of that. This world is what? It's passing away, and the loss of it. Hmm? The loss of it. All the big men of those years, where are they? They've passed away. And some of the houses are looking shallow and hollow. And nobody lives in those houses. Some of them are being sold and there is trouble fighting over money. Some people killing themselves because of what? Of property. You will not leave trouble for your children in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> Our children today, which kind of house are you going to build? This era of AI. It's possible tomorrow AI will be building houses. Artificial intelligence. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Nobody they want to. <laughs> that talking of uh, suit to wear a mask. You know mask. How many miles away from this earth? If you are going to travel there. <laughs> if you are about, about three months to go there. Some people are preparing to go to mass and be leaving. So, you don't know where well, your children will not live in the moon in Jesus' name. They may choose to live somewhere in the space. You never know. You never tell. Because they have the resources, they have the engineering, they have the capacity. So, just go spaceship, just go around, around the globe. They will come. They will. So, you don't know where they So, well, they say we should leave blessing for our, our children. In fact, the best blessing we should leave for our, with our children is Christianity. Amen. Faith in Christ, the love of Jesus, of course, your investment, link your name to it, and all of that. God will help our children to grow and uh, to be profitable by themselves. Uh, if they like, they touch your wealth. If they like, they dash it away. It shall be so in Jesus' name. They will be so profitable in the name of Jesus. Remember, do not love the world or the things of the world. Don't allow your friend on the campus or to drag you into worldliness. Amen. Don't be carried away by social media. Read your Bible and do what? And pray. You don't just come to church because your parents are pay all our attention to that. We wake up in the morning, hey, my, 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 my Satan plus Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. I see you when I come back. That will not be your portion. You will not lose your soul. In the name of Jesus, that is there, we must not be tempted, we must not take that garment, we must not swallow it. We'll give room for God, pay attention to his things. The Bible says, don't forsake the assembly word of one another. As you obey him, he rewards us. Amen? Here on earth and where in the kingdom to come, he rewards us. Hallelujah. Amen. What should we watch against? Getting engrossed in the world, that's what we just discussed. Number three, must watch against things, must watch against people and places that make us to fall. Amen? Never go back there again. Amen? <laughs> uh, watch your girls and boys. Don't go to dark places with boys. We both of you fall into fornication. Praise the Lord. It's unnecessary. Amen? It's what? Unnecessary. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's unnecessary. You are going to get married. Why don't you just wait for those closeness and all of that when you get married? Very unnecessary. You don't put yourself into any pressure. Your parents are very angry. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? You must learn from mistakes of others. Don't go to places where you will fall. Yeah, let's say, uh, let's just go and pray. But it's in a shadow with a dim light. Don't go to places of people that, they, uh, we are a girl. Uh, please, my back is scratching me. Can you help me scratch my back? Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Before you know it, <laughs> you have to come on, please help me scratch my throat. Uh, before you know, your hand is going down small, small. Do not fall in Jesus' name. Amen. Our children shall be holy children. Our boys shall be holy boys. In the mighty name of Jesus. If we made mistakes, let God forgive us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Obviously, the time of ignorance, God has what? Has for, forgive, forgiven us. Has, um, he winks at. But now, we have the knowledge. Don't go to people who will not encourage you in the things of God. Like we learned in the Holy uh, in the Sunday school, ho Hollywood actors who have no honor for God must not be our example. Amen? Because they are singers, does not make them angels. In fact, some of them have covenant with the devil. Praise the Lord. They say, well, you can sing to your music that nobody will know. You can, even when you are music, Christian music, you can pray in tongues behind what you are saying. Amen? You can lay those things behind what you are singing upon. You will not know. No, there are other sacrifices. If you want your movie to, be, to, to go all over the world, to go like fire, it may take human sacrifice. Amen? I pray we will not fall to the trap of any man, Amen. of any woman, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't go to places where you what? You will fall. Alcohol, uh, spirits, um, they are not good for your, your body. Amen? They are not nutritious. It's not something that has already been hyped. So don't say, I want to go and try it. <laughs> don't taste evil. The, the way you are innocent is good for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let them call you by all kinds of names. Don't worry. You are enjoying yourself. You are living a healthy life. So whatever they call you does not make any difference. It is you and yourself that matters. I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, be, watch against what? Things. Watch against people. Watch against places that will make you to what? To fall or what? Or to fail. Anybody that's encouraging you to, to, to change figures? Aha. Uh -huh. Or take a little alcohol. Or uh, let's go. We have, we have a business somewhere. It's, just take this little white uh, package and stay at the corner and sell it. We'll, we'll soon buy you a good car. You see those cars there? They, they belong to me. I'll give you one. Don't join sinners to do evil. If you notice, if your friend is doing 419, what should you do? Run away from him. But when they come after you, after him, they will link him to you. Do not spend your days in the, in, the, in, the, in the prison in the name of Jesus. You can make it in this land without any form of crookedness. Praise the Lord. There are financial investments. All kind of things are there. All kind of things. So God help us in Jesus' name. We should watch against. Don't allow anybody to lure you into sin. 1 Corinthians 13, 15 verse 36 says, Be not deceived. Evil communication what? Corrupts good manners. For the Sublime chapter 5, verse 22 says, Abstain from what? Every appearance of evil. When you see, it, not evil, just the appearance of it. That, ah, this corner, this man is taking me to, there's trouble there. Just back up immediately. So, no, I'm sorry, I want to the toilet. Just excuse yourself. Amen? Appearance of evil. Could be at the place of work. We will be in the church of God. Mm. Let us form a group and all of that. But it's a rebellious group. No, no, no. Sir. I don't belong there. Amen? If you are serving God, somebody is encouraging you. Are you the only one in the church? Tell me I'm the only one. 
I'm the only one. Praise the Lord. Now, this, this man, this um, the King Jude, amen. They have said they're going to distribute food, and I saw him and his wife and children. I said, We are other people now. He said, These are the people. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I said, These are the people, amen. You, your wife, and your two children. I thank God for the energetic point, amen. <laughs> if I think I can distribute food all over the place. I said, what? In fact, when there is something to do in the church and others don't, they don't want to do it, you should be happy, amen? Because <laughs> when you do it, you get the blessings. Except you don't believe that this is the house of God. Except you don't believe that God rewards. So I look at people. I say they're missing opportunity, amen? And when I want to say, uh, uh, daddy, I say, which is your daddy? I mean, let me carry it. I don't want to miss my blessing, amen. And as I'm carrying it, I'm getting stronger. So what is your business? Praise the Lord. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now this is part one. Anywhere we get to, we'll stop, we'll pray, amen. We'll continue from there. I hope I'm, it's not getting too hard, amen. I mean, <laughs> praise the Lord. It's getting better, is it not? We must watch against immorality and corruption. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I would say everybody should have his own wife so that we not fall into fornication. Amen? If you have age to marry, go and do what? Go and get married. Every sister in the... Every, no, sorry. Every woman in the church should be your, your sister. Amen? And every, everybody in the... Any man in the church should be what? Your brother. Hallelujah. I would say... Fornication, well, they, they can accuse you of that, but uh, you, you should be sure that you don't even, you, you don't, you didn't do it. But then it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be mentioned in the, in the church of God. Talk less of the outside, um, uh, where it's talk less of the church. Shouldn't be done outside, talk less of what? Of the church. Amen? That's why we tell us, please avoid places that will trip you. Places that you will fall. Because those things can be very, very painful. Amen. All those reproach, embarrassment, and all of that. You have to explain and explain. I uh, didn't do it. Blah, 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 blah. You, 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 there's no need for that. Amen. So stay, stay clear. Stay clear of anything that has to do with immorality, that with corruption. Where I will do it and will repent. No. The wages of sin is dead. You, the, 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 there are some things that are fallouts, um, all of that, reaction by from the family. Those who have heard you in high esteem before, they start looking down on you. They call you for meetings, um, all of those things. Even when you don't do this, you see all those pressure beyond you. What if you didn't do it for them. And God forbid that the fellow that is accusing you, he just roping you up or roping you in. So please, let's stay away from corruption. There's a thin line, amen? Praise the Lord. A thin line between that, a brother, and a becoming something else, or a sister becoming something else. Corruption. It's a flee fornication. Everything that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. Say your own body. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exercise to abstain from what? From passions of the flesh. Uh, pornography and all those lustful things. We have to, they, they, they happen in the church. There's some men who just, they lust after those things. And because God deliver them in the name of Jesus if they are here. They take away the love of your wife and give it to an imaginary, imaginary person in the in the animation that maybe the fellow is even dead. They are watching a dead person. And the soul of that fellow can affect, apart from the power of the, the disease attached to those things that can inf, inf, that can inflict 
or afflict one soul or infest one soul, the, the dead person one is watching can also affect one soul. No wonder some people are very weak. Amen? You will not be weak in Jesus' name. Tell yourself, I will not be weak. My husband will not be weak. So if you're a man that's watching anything secretly, you're already exposed in heaven. On the last day, they will just, everybody will see what you're watching. Though you are a teacher, but oh, whatever you're doing in the church, watch it. Alaba, they will be seeing it. This, they're very susceptible. The Satan deceives us. I want to learn how to be married. I have to marry. I want to, I want to learn this. It's a lie. It's of the devil. Don't fall for those things. Don't be deceived. We have to watch against them. Amen? Praise the Lord. Or uh, Do you not know that ungodliness will not inherit the kingdom of God? This is the unrighteous. Do not be deceived. Neither is sexually immoral, nor idolaters, no adulterers, no men who practice what? Homosexuality. That will not be the portion of our children in Jesus' name. Amen. We have always prayed for the soul of our children. Their soul shall be enhanced, very powerful. At the elementary school, at the secondary, and even at the university, they will not become men. We are supposed to be women in this church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, Satan is very deceptive. This gender confusion that introducing to our children to create the next generation of confused men and women. So we have to watch and pray. Hallelujah. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Anything immoral. When you ask somebody, why are you staying together? You are not married. You say, well, because they want to pay bills. You want to do what? You want to pay bills. Well, after you've spoken to the fellow, he doesn't agree with you. What do you do? You just leave the fellow alone. Because everybody has one, his own life to live. <laughs> he or she answered to God. You are so hot. But at least you'll have spoken your truth. Amen. A man and a woman who's not married, they're supposed to be living together. If you have a problem with bills, let the pastor know. Let your parents know. But you know it's not bill now. It's another thing. It's lost of the eyes, loss of the flesh. There's no way we can be staying together. We want to pay bills. We went somewhere to go and settle the same thing some years ago. Before we knew it, the fellow has disappeared. Or she has disappeared from the house. Where is this? this uh, I don't know. Pray the Lord. It's abomination. Pornography is what? Abomination. Living together without marriage. Sex before marriage is an abomination. And I pray the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Shall we rise?